Grasp the rock. Grasp the rock before you now, the only rock to show you how to stand against adversity and every form of enmity. The rock that lies within the path of Satan's fierce and stormy wrath that seeks destruction for all men through subtle ways and brazen sin. For as the stories tell of old how holy men could be so bold and stand not in their strength alone, but by the blood that does atone, so we by grace through faith can find the strength of heart to help us bind our feeble, frail humanity to God's eternal deity. That nothing in this present day should cause our hearts to feel dismay For God is always on our side as we in him choose to abide. And though the odds may seem immense and every foe be so intense, in bringing our demise and pain beneath the load of guilt and strain, if we will simply grasp the hand extended by the Son of Man, he will, by ways we cannot see, remove our dark adversity and give instead his peace of mind for which Christ died, that we might find assurance for the answers here when faced with trials from those most near. So do not be discouraged, friend, when others hurt and do offend your heart through senseless cruelty or words of godless piety. But understand the greater prize beyond the sight of human eyes that God's prepared for all who will walk in the path that guides them still. Through moments spent within his word, obeying all that there is heard, that from his spirit flow to men who find their hope and faith in him. Determined by God's holy grace that come what may, they too can face the giants in this godless land while holding firm to Jesus' hand. And nothing that the devil brings will cause our lips to fail to sing the joyous songs of victory we find in God that set us free, free from the fear of what's to come, of which we cannot know the sum, but which we know our Lord controls for those who in his rock have hold. For reference, Psalm 18, verses 1 through 6.